Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today we're going to talk about how you can create more than one action uh, for a single input in Bo MIDI Translator Pro. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it by duplicating translators. First we open a project file and then we define our inputs and outputs. We're going to use Bohm MIDI Translator 1 Virtual In for input and we're going to use Bohm MIDI Translator Virtual 1 and Virtual 2 for output. In your project you'll probably want to use um, whatever synths you're trying to control and whatever controller you want to control them with. Uh, then we go over and we start creating a translator and we'll uh, have this translator uh, control the program changes on synth 1 and now we go over and we set up the incoming MIDI message we want to use. We want to use a MIDI message in this case we'll use a program change we'll use channel 1 and we'll use program number 1 And now we need to set up outgoing rules. Uh, in this case, we're going to actually use exactly the same change. We're just going to pass it through uh, pretty much untouched, but we'll go ahead and define what it is, and you'll see why in a second. So again, it's going to be channel 0, program 1. We need to define which port we want to send it to, and we're going to send this to our first synth or Bohm MIDI translator virtual uh, 2 out. Now to create the second outgoing action, uh, we'll set up another translator, but first uh, we're going to just show in the log window uh, that the, in fact we are going to get the right program change coming in. Uh, give me a second, there you go, and you can see it going out to virtual out too. So to create the second output, we're going to use the same input, so we just add another translator by right clicking and clicking duplicate. We're going to change the name of this to Synth2. And then we go over to the output section and we change the output message. In this case, our second synth is on a different channel. So we're going to set up uh, the channel that that synth is on as soon as I figure this out here. Here we go, channel uh, 2. And let's say it's just on program 3. So it's a different program number just for the sake of uh, illustration. That way, you know, it shows that you don't have to send the exact same program to both items with that uh, control change. In this case, we're going to send it to uh, Virtual 3 out, which is our second synth. And now if you look, you can see that the uh, output will go correctly to each device. The Channel 1 output will go to Synth 1, and the Channel 2 output will go to Synth 2. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at www.bohm.com.